What's going on, guys? MG here. And I'm back with yet another cryptocurrency video. So let's get after it, guys. So happy, what day is it today? Monday. <laughs> happy Monday. Um, I hope everyone had a good weekend. Mine was actually pretty chill. I mean, uh, I do apologize if you're if you guys are going to hear a lot of sniffling and sneezing because my fucking allergies are popping the fuck off right now. It is ridiculous. I went out to I went out this morning to water my vegetable garden in my backyard and shit. Man, I could not stop sneezing. It's fucked up, guys. I gotta I gotta get that Claritin, so <clears throat> hold on guys. Uh, I gotta take a sip of my drink. Hang on. This morning's beverage of choice is black coffee, no cream, no sugar, because I'm sweet enough. So yeah, let's talk about this crypto. Let's talk about this motherfucking crypto. What is going on, guys? You know what I'm saying? Geary is out here just acting a fool, you know. What else is new, right? And then on top of that, in addition to Uncle Gary going ham as per usual arrangement, right? We got China dropping some regulatory framework after motherfucking banning the shit last year. We got Hong Kong about to start trading. And the one thing that's so crazy about all of this is NASDAQ is still announcing their custody services for their accredited I'm, I'm air quoting right now guys i'm air quoting my eyes are rolling behind my back to their accredited investors so it's just make make the world make sense right you know so anyways guys let's get into it <clears throat> um but yeah hope hopefully everyone is doing well and hopefully no one got voided out over this shit guys our chains are still confirming blocks no matter what any humanoid says or lizard right so Market cap one point zero nine trillion, uh, down zero point zero percent, up zero point zero percent. Twenty four hour trading volume thirty five billion. BTC dominance forty five point eight. I'm surprised it's not actually going much higher, but it is rising, and ETH dominance is down nineteen point one. Gas prices two figs across the board. Forty seven for fast. 47 for standard and 46 for safe. Really, really good. I'm surprised considering all of the hullabaloo that's happening with uh, with the SEC and our markets. You know what I'm saying? I would I was expecting the gas prices to be three figs because people were tripping out, but it seems like it's everyone knows that it's just okay. Gary doing Gary things. We got BTC here hanging out at 25,800. Still holding strong, you know what I'm saying? BTC is unfazed by this as per usual because the attacks are actually not pointed towards Bitcoin. Wow, for a change. We got Ethereum here, 1700. Binance coin taking a beating. Look, ooh. we got Binance coin taking a beating here, 22.9%. I don't even know how my expose hot corner actually triggered there. That's interesting because I got that new trackpad, you know what I'm saying? So. Uh, we got XRPZ here, 51 cents. Surprised. We got Mike Cardano here, 27 cents. Taking a huge motherfucking Aww. beating. You know, for the past two to three weeks, I was flossing my Cardano Dex portfolio. I'm so glad I took some profits. Pro, prof, pro, <laughs> profits. Like, you know, the profit. <laughs> I'm so glad that I took some profits. <laughs> from my from my Cardano uh, Dex portfolio, primarily MinSwap and and Snake not financial advice, and already uh, bought back three <laughs> X my bag. So I'm chilling, boys. I'm ready for the DeFi summer se sundress season for Cardano, as well as the upcoming bull market. Set up, boys. Not financial advice. We got Dodge here at six cents. Wow. Okay. Okay. Hmm. And we got Hollertronics here, boys. Just making its way up to the top ten. Again, I've been commenting about Tron for well over, well over a year 
since I called the local bottom, which did not happen, but you know, I was off by a, c- a couple thousand, still about that level two. And Tron was like, what, in like the 20s? Like at three, three, four cents. And I was just thinking, okay, well, I'll probably scoop up a little bag here when it goes back down to two to one cent, like everyone else is doing right now. And here we are. Look at that. Already top 10. Like, what is. I mean, it, 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 it was the payment rail because of its speed for USD, uh, for USDT. You know, the, the TRX coins, but, um, was it TRCs? <laughs> but it's like, man, what is going on? It actually topped Solana. Hey, but at least Tron doesn't go down multiple times a year as, as much, uh, as much controversy was c- circling around Tron and Justin, you know, like plagiarizing the white papers, all this other drama, you know, publicly at parties you know with with hoes all around you know what i'm saying um green and gold baby green for the money gold for the honey everywhere and straight up saying buy my shit coin with arthur hayes i think it was arthur hayes who was next to him anyways all even with all of that shit said man tron never really went down at least from what i know and here it is right now just overtaking motherfucking solana isn't that some crazy shit guys man we got Solana season fifteen dollars. Speaking of Solana season, man, I might need to buy some. Look at that shit. The financial advice we got poly, we got Polygon Matic sixty four cents. Look at that. Took a huge beating. Best believe I bought more Polygon Matic. Just just tidying up my making my bags a little bit heavier because you know in reality there's a world outside. The United States, right? It's it's hard, but you know it, it still exists. We got polka dots here. Four, wow, four fifty one LTC seventy six. We got AVAX here eleven forty five, and we got my ship not that not six five nine. Those are the top twenty players. Scrolling down, we got Chain Sync here five bucks. Damn. Okay, we're 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 pretty much close to two thousand nineteen prices for Chain Link. Damn. Let's see, we got Stellar Lumens, eight cents, Bitcoin Cash, one hundred dollars, Filecoin three forty one. Imagine Imagine writing that bag down. You were up hundred fifty bucks a coin ish, and then now three forty one. You know what I'm saying? Wow. We got Hedera here, four cents, Arb sub one dollar. Okay, I might need to move in on this. V chain, one cent. It's just it, it's it's just like the mental stack for these for this coordinated FUD is wild man because there's so much uncertainty still in this week alone because we got FOMC even though there is a high percentage that we may pause you know I haven't really been keeping up with Uncle Jerome the this past week and a half because I've been busy doing other things but man crazy stuff we got my graph here nine cents apecoin 228 stacks 50 cents sandbox 38 tezzy's 71 wow theta network 64 cents i think i might finish up securing my suicide stacks of theta this is just way too juicy these central land boys i already told y'all if this goes down to sub 25 cents i'm gonna probably scale back into this i'm not sure if we got immutable x 60 cents i'm chilling been done secured my bags for immutable months ago same goes with gala 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 whatever the fuck scrolling down here chilies we got pepe um i've finally started securing more pepe because it's looking like it's flooring it's floored already and this is just going to be the trading range for the remainder of 2023 and moving into 2024. Guys, we are, gosh, time is moving so fucking fast. It's ridiculous. I can't believe we're already, we're already in June, guys. Uh, we're already halfway through. Next thing you know, it's going to be Q4 2023. And who knows what the fuck I'll be talking about by then. Hopefully, Hopefully Starfield will come out. You know what I'm saying? Side note, uh, you know I'm really hyped on uh, Microsoft's presentation, game showcase over the weekend. 
I might even FOMO into a Series X. I might even pick up the damn Series S because that thing looks sexy in black. You know what I'm saying? And it's got the one tera hard drive. Anyways, guys, I don't want to... I don't want to derail the conversation here, so let's keep going. Chili's, we got Dash. I can't believe Dash was considered a fucking security, guys. Like, I, I, I don't even know what to say, man. It's just Gary just sucked the air out of the room. Loop ring, twenty one cents. Basic attention token, sixteen cents. Oh man, I'm looking at the old players. Hot, okay. Let's see. Ravencoin, one cent. Decred, 12. I mean, we got my Ikomi here. Not that, not five, eight, five, six, eight. So, yeah, these are. Wow, Shiba Bone. Gotta, gotta woof my bones here. So, those are the top players. Looking real good. And yet, we're still above a trillion. Who knows what, what Uncle Jerome might say. Either way, guys, this is the time to fight back without getting too fucking political in this shit, even though we are political being in crypto. There are a lot of, there's lots of political grifting happening right now, and it's good to see people fighting back. So we are definitely a part of one of those cultural fronts in terms of fighting back, air quotes, the establishment. We are definitely one of those fronts, you know. Uh, like, imagine being a legion commanded by Alexander of Macedonia. You know what I'm saying? You got you got these other legions here on the left and right side, and we're fighting against uh, what is it? Who who did he who did he famously fight? Was it uh, De, Darius the fifth? One of those emperors. But yeah, we're just one of those legions moving on in, fighting the front. You know what I'm saying? So keep it up, guys. Uh, it's not over. It it's just starting, and it and and it's really and it makes me feel really good, and confident in our market even more that we got CZ and Uncle Brian ready to throw down with SEC. And it's not like Gary is winning his case against Ripple. And let's not forget, you know, those motherfuckers tried to uh, sweep the shit under the rug that they lost against Library. So you know, just wanted to throw that out there. Lost one, one of those. All right, we got Lux here. Sorry, guys, I have to take a sip of my drink. Hang on. Rank 214, we got LYXE. $7.44 down 10% on the USD pair. 30,000 sats will round up minus 10.1%. 429,757. ETH down 9.3%. We are taking a beating, guys, but that's okay. Market cap. Nine figs, 24 hour trading volume. Motherfuckers are not phased. Look at our 24 hour trading volume. It fucking 3x from the video last that I posted last week. I think we were at like 700k 24 hour trading volume. 3x, 2x. Um, hey, we what? What is that? Like six. 600,000 more, we can make it, right? Circ supply, 15 million. Total supply, 100 million. We all know that it's going to be 42 million. The Genesis validators will be getting their deposits paid on the 28th of June, I think, at 4, 420 p.m., 1600, for 1620, depending where you are in the world. And uh, yeah, there's going to be the migration, which is uh, just, just this whole experience itself is just incredible. It's just the... Uh, Truly novel, you know. All the all the, all the analysts who were who were how, how, what word am I looking for? I guess you could say reviewing overview of Lux. You know, the word novel is really really showing itself here right now. Like just the whole raw experience is just novel because like back in the days when the chain would cut off to mainnet, your fucking old ERC twenty token that they used to get money for ICO useless virtually useless overnight you know what i'm saying so it's nice that this migration period has extended well beyond the cutoff date which i truly applaud fabian this you know what i'm saying he's just the yeah as far as all-time high prices is concerned we are down 81.93 percent super good deal you know what i'm saying like i always say if you see your favorite game on sale you of course you would buy it just like how i got diablo 4 even though it was delivered late, guys, don't ever order anything from Target. 
when it comes to pre-orders. They fucked me over for Remake 4. And they fucked me over for Diablo 4. Yes, they fi- they they delivered it maybe four to five days late from launch date. And initially, it was going to be delivered on the 20th of June. It's like, what? The game came out? The, the, the game is released on June 6th, and then my expected delivery date is the 20th. It's like, why did I give y'all my money for when something that I pre-ordered by pre-order, I'm expecting to have it the day of, or maybe even early as a nice surprise, but I'm getting my product almost two, three weeks later. Target is trash. Uh, just order it from fucking Amazon. Or you know what? Maybe do it old school and just take your ass to GameStop or Best Buy or whatever the fuck. Wait in line. Get your shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, absolute garbo. So let's move over to the charts, guys. Okay, so we got uh, we got some craziness happening here. Let's take a look at the one hour. You know what I'm saying? Again, guys, in, out, in, out. So when we look at the one hour, guys, look at this massive, massive bloody, bloody money flow. You know what I'm saying? We've posted many, many local bottoms. However, a lot of these, these run-ups are just stopped by this level 59 Eye of Sauron. And we've just been getting hit by bearish divergences all the fuck over the place stochastics are starting to flatten out and possibly move on up probably because this momentum wave is looking like it wants to find a local bottom i will probably say we will find one maybe at brunch time if you're on my side of the hood you know pacific standard time we might see it at brunch or lunch and then we'll get a little small run up. However, we do have this level 40 eye of Sauron watching and waiting. More than likely, it may stop it, but that's okay. VWAP under the zero line, and we do have money flow looking like it wants to go on an uptrend. How high up? We'll see. Now, when we go into the chart here, we can see that from the video that I posted over the weekend, we've collapsed below that VWAP support level of 930. I still have my open orders open for 657 and all those other numbers that I posted, all those levels that I posted on Discord. So we just basically went down 20%, fell below, way below our new golden pocket area that I mapped out for us. And we do have this trend reversal here signaling the bearish divergence, plus the two counts of manipulacion. We will see. More than likely, we may collapse below our pivot low level, support level of 742. And I only say that because VWAP right now, six, six, seven dollars and sixty-seven cents is acting as resistance. And our pivot high resistance is eight dollars and nine cents. With these two with, with the two snake eyes here, kind of manipulation, I definitely can see. What I see happening is we will move on up because our momentum wave is looking for a local bottom here, which I think we will find by brunch or lunch. We will we will then find that local bottom and then have that little run up and get rejected by VWAP resistance at 66767. And then we will get that dump to the lower levels. Now let's see where what level could we see? Let's This shit is just getting mad. Why coffee? You know what I'm saying? It's fucking trackpad, dude. Hang on. Wait, what? Okay. My... My trackpad is just tripping the fuck out, but I'm going to take a guess here. Probably 667, our old golden pocket resistance level. But this Wyckoff distribution pattern here that looks Wyckoffy to me is looking like it's starting to finally play out. We will see. Should that level collapse... We got our golden pocket area here at 669, my favorite number. You know, these are the levels that I definitely have some orders open. 
But I mean, hey, bring it on, right? There are there are buyers like us who are ready to execute. And I mean, come on, guys, this is just sub ten dollar lux. This is a fucking dream, man. Not financial advice. So let's take a look at the two day to wrap things up here. Man, my trackpad is just. Should I just fucking get the goddamn magic mouse? What is going on? Or, you know, sometimes wireless is as convenient as the shit is. It's just like, man, come on, just fucking work, guys. Making me want to bust out my esports mouse and shit. Zowie FK. I used that mouse for like years during my Counter Strike days. I love that. The, the ambidextrous mouse. All right, so let's take a look at the two-day here. Money flow finally starting to go into the red. We knew this. We've we've been done knowing this since May. That's when we identified that the money flow is starting to move into the red, and we are still looking for that local bottom. We may find it today, or when are we going to close? We may we may find it tomorrow. We will see. Uh, that would be nice, so we can get some type of idea of where. Price is going to go. Price action is going to go for Lux. We may find that bottom when Uncle Jerome announces what he wants to do later this week. So definitely keep an eye out for that. Stochastics dumping way the fuck down. VWAP well under the zero line. And of course, money flow moving into the red. So we have our all-time high here. 41, right? That I laid out. And it's looking like as far as the highs is concerned, this may or may not be a bull trap bearish divergence but i mean how much lower can lux go right how like how much can people sell you know and also flip side how much can we buy right responsively not saying that lux is in danger of not doing what it needs to do but i'm just talking about short-term price volatility and depending on what what you're doing here you know what i'm saying like are you here for the long term or are you here just trying to trade this so yeah, this that that may or may or may not concern you. So just like I mentioned last week, we just missed this straight up just like like doing a power slide and ridge racer or some shit. You just missed the damn turn and we've just been on a constant spill to the downside. Two day candles, EMA ribbon still bullish, but they're constricting and already went done bearish. We had the sell confirmation signal on the twenty third. I'm glad that we're not seeing any trend reversal signals. I'm glad we're not seeing any counter manipulation signals, that type of shit. Because if we were to see something like that on the higher time frames, you know, get buckle up, guys. Prepare for, this is Captain speaking. We got some turbulence, right? Uh, that's pretty much what I'm looking at here. Now, in terms of our confirmation bias trend line, guys, we actually broke the trend. We actually fucking broke it. Oh. You know what I'm saying? But um, let me just give Lux the benefit of the doubt. Let's just slide that shit down. You know what I'm saying? Just slide slide the motherfucking panties to the side, right? And just start getting busy. Okay, that's kind of like what we're doing here. We're just going to slide the shit to the side. Okay. Um, just right there on that on that tip there. Just that, that confirmation bias trend line. And we also got even some more meat here that we can cut into into the fat right there down there you know just to keep the dream alive it's not like the dream ever died but you know just just for all the traders out there i'm gonna doing this for you guys so yeah we've just been dumping down 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 i think we just need to see what's gonna happen with uncle jerome i'm sure uncle jerome's decision will definitely play a part in the sec's aggression we will see but i mean guys the reality is NASDAQ is getting ready to gear up for their custody services, for their rich people, for their accredited investors. How are you going to fucking do custody services without having the underlying asset? You know what I'm saying? Like, what are you going to give people a paper version of that? No, like these, these accredited investors, they got teams of smart people, or maybe they're just smart themselves and they've done the research. They, they know what's going on in our money market and see value in that. They're not going to accept no fucking paper. If they're going to do that, they might as well just 
get out the black book and call up their buddies and be like, hey, can we print some more money here? Like, let's let's run it up, you know. The Ponzi is ending. Now they want to move on to something more stable, right? So it's just, uh, that's just what it is. It's kind of crazy, right? Like, uh, how are you going to offer that type of stuff when it's also illegal and all this other crap that's happening at the same time? So it's just, it's, the shit just doesn't add up. But either way, they're not getting my crypto. You know what I'm saying? I already outflowed a lot of my alts. The only things that I have on on the sexes is just USDT, USDC, and maybe like some dust, some Bitcoin dust because of my automated buys. But I've I've practically just outflowed excuse me, I've out I've outflowed everything from Coinbase. You know what I'm saying? Coinbase, um, what else? I'm not trading on Binance US. I, I haven't used Binance US in years, so I'm not really tripping. But I should probably log in there just to see if I, who knows, I might log in there and be like, oh shit, I have 37,000 a V chain here I forgot about. You know, like I've had moments like that before where, you know, I think in, in the early days of the last bull cycle, when I finally like logged into one of the many exchanges, one of them being KuCoin, and just finding a fat bag in there and being like, whoa, let me take that, you know? So, yeah, so be careful out there, guys. Definitely take your stuff out, put it in your wallet, and just hodl it yourself like we were supposed to, like we're supposed to do, and just write it out, you know? Because at the end of the day, Bitcoin will continue confirming blocks. Ethereum will continue confirming blocks. Even Solana is going to continue for confirming blocks. You know, no matter what any lizard man will say, you know, just just stick to the plan. Trust your plan. Trust your gut. You know what I'm saying? If you are just way too footed out, do not fucking worry about it if you need to sell out. You know what I'm saying? That... It ain't, it, it's It's not our job to babysit you or whatever. And also flip side, it ain't our job to tell you what the fuck you should be doing with your own investments. You know what I'm saying? This is your money. You worked for it. You got it. And you do whatever the hell you want with it. You invest in, you invest in whatever you want and you sell anytime you want. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, when you hit that execute, sell execution, either market or limit or whatever you're doing, the world is going to continue spinning. I'm going to take a piss like in four hours from now. And it's like, oh, dang, already forgot that someone sold this and on online sold. Like no one cares. You know what I'm saying? And no one, no one's going to fucking judge you if you're going to get, if you're going to have to take some money off the table because you're just uncomfortable. And I, I will say this, though. Anyone is anyone who's feeling the sweats or uncomfortable about this entire situation that's a good sign that you're fucking over leveraged. You know what I'm saying? Like, look at your spread, bust out your spreadsheet, look at your positions, and see what you can prune. You know what I'm saying? Because you should not be feeling this way if you are invested responsibly. You know what I'm saying? Not saying you're not responsible. Hey, you're talking to a motherfucking DJ in here, right? But at the same time, you know, I also mix in reality and just being like, yo, I'm not going to spend this much on this. I'll spend a lot more than most and probably write it down, but... You know, that's within my tolerance, right? So, anyways, guys, uh, I'm going to step off my fucking soapbox here. You know, stay safe out there. You know what I'm saying? We got this. Don't worry about anything, right? The Nothing has changed. Like I mentioned before, the only time you should be scared is if Bitcoin does a double spend somehow or gets 51% attacked or the Ethereum network just shut down for 48 hours that type of shit that that's the type of stuff to get scared about you know what i'm saying other all this stuff is just noise just a blip in time all right guys hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in the next one later